You know, I, I think the moments that, are, that I feel the most present, when I've kind of finished a body of work and it's, it's done, it's photographed and it's being wrapped and taken away, it's kind of like at that moment I, I just kind of mentally move on to the next thing. Ever since I was small, the way I was exposed to things was, was through print, through packaging, through magazines, through like objects. And so when I make work and I think about how to communicate with people, I want to I want to reach people through those those similar channels. And the thing that can really stop me in the tracks is when you see somebody take something that you're familiar with and kind of reapproach it or, or put it in a new way that you kind of never imagined. Really, there's a ton of things that make me stop. Like it could be anything. It could be a girl. Could be, you know. I'm always thinking about communication and how to communicate and how to reach people and how to make an image that would make somebody stop, you know, in their tracks and kind of take notice. So it's nice to see things out there and just existing and sort of populating. My new book, published by Rizzoli and Aldrich Museum. And it's um, releasing this month in the U.S. and we're gonna have a book signing at the stand there. It's the first book that kind of puts everything in one place. It's kind of ironic. I had to go and get permissions to print a lot of you know this early stuff. So basically, if there's a billboard I defaced in 1995, you know. It's Schultz or Snoopy and Get Met had to give me permission to put it in the book. This has been a really hectic year. I think the book has kind of like, you know, sucked the soul out of me. I, I think a lot of times just like frustrations get the best of you and, and figuring out, um, you know, how, how things are moving, how life is moving, how it should be moving, how you wished it was moving, how it's not moving, how it is moving. <laughs> I've only been to Miami a few times. I think this might be like my third or something, third or fourth time down there. In New York, I tend to just stay in my studio and work, and I go to Miami and I see all my friends from New York. So around this time of year, you know, especially the weather right now in New York, it's just a nice break. The main thing that, that keeps you alive is probably relationships with people in your life and, you know, just how, how you maintain those and how they develop and, you know, grow or dissolve over the years.